episode of Sailing Nanji, it's an emotional day as we are reunited with our dog Marley. We import him from Australia to the Solomon Islands. Meet Marley, a four-year-old whippet that we have raised since a pup. Marley has had an adventurous life, travelling around Australia with us in our bus froth, then sailing the east coast of Oz on Nanji. Leaving Australia without Marley was one of the most difficult decisions we had to make as he was always by our side. But without all paperwork in order and for our first blue water crossing we thought safest to leave him in Australia and organise his flight to be reunited with us. Initially we set out to import Marley ourselves. We wanted to reduce the cost and also learn as much as we could about it for our future imports of Marley. Uh, but it wasn't as easy as what we thought it would be, was it? Nah. We first contacted the Solomon Islands Biosecurity Office to find out the exact requirements that we needed and the, and the treatments that Marley had to do to be able to enter the country. But we didn't exactly get a response very quickly because they are on island time and then when we did get a response it was not exactly uh, correct. So we knew to, for Marley to return back to Australia he needed to have at least his C5 injections and a rabies booster so we went ahead and organised that with the vet. The C5 injection includes vaccinations against hepatitis, distemper, canine parvovirus, parainfluenza and bordetella bronchitis. His rabies injection was not required for the Solomon Islands but is a requirement for future countries. 30 days after the rabies injection, he also received a titter test. Prior to his flight, he was treated for tapeworm, administered ear canal drops and washed on two separate occasions with an insecticidal rinse for fleas and ticks. He also needed to be microchipped and desexed, which he already was. We went online and tried to find the requirements ourselves and sent Marley to the vet with some forms that we found. Uh, the vet informed us that they were actually incorrect and uh, she suggested that we see a pet travel agent. Because if any of the paperwork is incorrect or if we make any mistakes then Marley can be sent straight back. We then contacted Jet Pets and the very next day we'd received a quote and a specific requirements of everything that needed to be done for Marley's importation. Rachel from Jet Pets organised Marley's flight and then we were able to organise his vet appointments from there going backwards as he needs to have them a specific time frame from the flight. So all we had to do was organise Marley's importation permit into the Solomons as Jet Pets would take care of his export papers out of Australia, his crate, his flight and his final vet appointments with, uh, with their own vet in Australia. All of this was organised via email, so we couldn't be able to speak on the phone because we were in Vanuatu and we're trying to import him into the Solomons and then Jet Pets were in Australia. So it was quite difficult, only corresponding through email, but Rachel, she knew our, our unique circumstances and she was emailing back straight away. We had an answer from our emails instantly. So yeah. it was where we were amazed with how quickly they responded. <laughs> We're at the airport, we came here super early, we have a few places to visit once Marley lands and we didn't want him to be waiting very long in his um, crate so we came down here early to work out where we need to go and what we need to do and they're right next door to each other and it's not actually that difficult so we are uh, three hours early, <laughs> just got to sit around and wait now. We've uh, over in the main terminal here and we found a biosecurity guy, found the customs lady and found the guy that can issue us the airway bill. So we've rounded them all up, they all know we're expecting to see us, so everything should be smooth. Looks like Marley shouldn't have to wait too long. I've found the three people who we need. There's only one officer from each department, but the terminal's quite small and... They're not yeah, busy. They're not busy. It should be fine. I love it when you tell him to do something and he doesn't want to do it. And he looks at you and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> what do you love about Marley? I love the way he sits up the front of the tender and he will climb and claw over anything to get there. Don't get in his way or you'll get scratched because that's his position and he's got to be there all the time. <laughs> what do you love about Marley? I love it when you're at the beach and you're throwing a stick but he needs to have the biggest stick and he can't carry it, so he's like, just skull dragging it side on. <laughs> uh, what do you love about Mark?
Anxiously, we counted down the seconds for Marley's plane to arrive. All the months of planning were about to pay off. We got 10 minutes until he lands, and if anything's going to be on time in the Solomons, it's the airline. So we'll see how we go. Any Hopefully. <laughs> He should have been here by now. It's been like he's like 25 minutes late. Like unless the plane was delayed out of Brizzy, but they got like a westerly wind, so like they should have just scoot it up here. You know you're a yachty when you start checking the wind direction for your air flights. <laughs> As it turns out, the uh, flight has been delayed for two and a half hours, so Marley will arrive at 5 p.m. now. Um, we just had to run around the airport and make sure that uh, everyone is going to still be here while he, um, when he arrives. They said the plane had technical difficulties um, when trying to leave uh, Brisbane, so yeah. The, uh, the guy that does the air bill, he normally knocks off at 4 o'clock, so uh, we spoke to his colleague and um, she let us talk to him on the phone. She didn't want to tell him herself that um, he needs to be here at 5 o'clock, so um, he said, I should be there, and you're just like, you will be here, won't you? And he's like, yeah, I'll be there, so <laughs> he's going to be here too, thank goodness. Give him the stern word. Yeah. Angry yeah. dad. No more Solomon time. <laughs> okay. We've got 20 minutes now till 5 o'clock and that's when Marley's new flight is meant to arrive. So we just found out that the plane is going to be delayed another three and a half hours. So 8.30 tonight is when Marley's going to land. This is crazy, the poor little guy. Yeah. They better have taken him out of his crate and let him have a walk around. But the guy just said that the plane left and it had problems so it had to turn around and land again. It's been delayed again to 9 o'clock. 9 p.m. So, 9 p.m. That's an extra seven hours. But he got to he got off the plane and got to stretch his legs and go to the toilet. So that's the main thing. Jet pets have been looking after him. So that makes us feel much better. And he's had plenty of water. With plenty of time to kill, we left the airport in search of some dinner, stopping at one of the many roadside stalls that appear in the evening. Market? Yeah. From today, this morning? Yeah. yeah. Hello! Hello! Hello. Hello. <laughs> I think I see a plane. Here he is. I haven't seen him yet. I don't really want to see him until we can actually let him out, so. It's pretty nerve wracking. One little mistake on the paperwork and you can get sent straight back to Australia, so. Okay, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, so I just I just Hello, feel buddy. him coming out. Hello, buddy. Okay. Hello, buddy. Okay. Hello, buddy. Hello. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> With Marley back on board, it was like he never left, remembering all his commands and old habits. Oh, there it is, buddy. Adopting back to boat life seemed simple for the little guy. Walking? You coming? Let's go. Let's go. Have a good. Oh. 
We know it's going to be challenging traveling with Mali in the future, but we are happiest all together. It's like that old saying if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So good having him back, but to get him back on board, it took a lot of effort from a lot of people. So there's a lot of people who really need to thank. So a big thanks to Teebs and, and Natasha and Adelaide for first putting your hand up to help us take care of Marley when we, went, when we left. Yeah, and a big thank you to Natasha who looked after Marley as though he was her own. Um, I hope that you do end up getting a whiff it because they are the best dogs. So yeah. thank you so much. A big thank you to my mum for corresponding for us while we were out at sea and uh, all of your support as well as my dad as well. A big thanks to Crystal who got us in contact with her family uh, in the Solomons and hooked us up with Nigel. So thank you Crystal so much for doing what you did and thank you Nigel for heading into the biosecurity office and paying for that permit on yep. our behalf. None of this could happen without the help from you guys so yep. thank you legends. And a big thank you to Rachel from Jet Pets. Your customer service was exceptional and went far beyond what we were ex uh, expecting. So thank you so much. Yeah, absolute legend. Like, like you've you done so much for us in our unique circumstances. There was at one stage we were out at sea speaking to Benita's mum via satellite phone, who was speaking to Rachel, who was speaking to Crystal in the US, who was then speaking to Nigel in the Solomons. So trying to have a conversation that way is not real easy. Yeah, so, thank you. Thank you so much, Rachel. You've done so yeah. much for us. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will be sailing all together from now on. Yeah, there's now three of us, but it's going to make life a little bit more difficult as we travel into other foreign countries, but life is better with the three of us, and it's good to have him back on board. He's worth every little bit of trouble we have to deal with. <laughs> yeah. Coming up next on Sailing Nanji, it's Christmas on the boat, we visit a small village who show us some World War II relics and we trade with the locals. These videos are proudly brought to you by our Patreons, the Sailing Nanji family. New patrons will be personally thanked by us in an upcoming episode.